Once the NA10 is installed, whether it is using NPM or Docker, you will need to sometimes come back and set up the environment variables and you might need to change the environment variables. And I'll show you why these environment variables needs to be changed. Let me show you on screen. I'm using na10.synclix.com. And if I go to any of the workflow, if I open the uh, chat node, for example, you can see here that the uh, chat URL is automation.synclix.com. na10 installation is na10.synclix.com. And if I try to open this workflow, of course, this DNS is not available, so it won't work here. So I need to change the environment variable and I need to make sure that a webhook URL is also changed. So this is the application URL, but uh, here is the webhook URL. In fact, whenever you will create any credential, create a new credential. And here, if I go to, for example, Gmail. So with Gmail also, you can see here, it says that your credentials are automation.syncprix.com. Of course, automation.syncprix.com won't work. So how I'll do that? I will be accessing my N8 uh, installation using Docker Compose. So I will go to SSH and it will be my server IP, which is 10.11.12.109. And depending upon where it has been installed, you can SSH into it and you can open this using your credentials. And here it is on Docker. You can see this is my Docker server. So I will just list the space N8 and inside N8 I have this Docker compose. I will do sudo nano docker dash compose dot yaml. And I will need to provide the password again here. Now you can see here that these are the environment variables inside N8. And, and what are those variables? You can see here uh, the Postgres database, host name and DB type, and then the user ID and password. And here also you can see that uh, N8 personalization, it's enabled, whether it is enabled or not, I have mentioned it false. And down here you can see webhook URL, which is HTTP automation.syncprix.com. I will just change it. I will change it to na10.syncprix.com. And you can add more environment variables. For example, there is uh, something that needs to be added here. I will just show you all the environment variables. On my website, you will be looking for, for example, na10 and na10 related information will be there. One of the things that I have added here that how to shrink and clean up your SQLite database. And here I have mentioned one important part, whether you want to delete the executions because every time when a workflow will be executing, so it will be keeping all that data. If you see uh, all the executions, this data will be there and it will definitely be loading into your database or in loading into SQLite and it is storing on the file. So your file size might increase and that's the reason we need to set the environment variables in a way that maximum count are here, 1000. I will be copying these and I will go back here to NA10. I will paste it here. So I want to uh, delete the executions. Of course, it depends on what you want to use. So I will be deleting the executions here and I will be keeping maximum 2000 executions. And execution from a timeout. These are the variables. Of course, you can add more variables also. One of the variables that I will recommend you to use is the time zone. So I will just look for the time zone. So you will see here that generic time zone. This is the variable that you have to define. So I will go back here and I will add that variable also here. Generic time zone. And here I will enter the equal to sign here. Asia Nasca. So my time zone is in this format. It has been mentioned in this way. So mine is Asia Muscat. So you can see your time zone accordingly. And default locale, I will use EN, which one you will be using. So I will be going down here. This one is equal to EN. And what else can be used? So you can see here that a task runner environment variables, you can see in case you want to change the port, in case you want to change the listen address, in case you want to change other information so you can do it from here. So uh, N8N documentation is there, which will help you to uh, set the um, variables. So all the environment variables are here. This is a complete environment variables, whether you want to use for the user management, two-factor authentication, zone and locale. So external hooks can also be updated here. So external hook file and so on. So these are all the environment variables. Of course, I'm just updating the environment variables. So I will at the same time update the N8N uh, to the latest version as well. So as I mentioned that I have already tested the uh, version on uh, cloud. So 
on the cloud version i have already tested the version so right now latest version is 1.85.4 so i will be going with 1.85.4 so here is 1.85.4 i'll be updating these environment variables with all the details and now everything is fine uh, nothing needs to be changed here i will just save this data is already stored in the volumes now i'll do sudo docker compose space down it will down a stack which consists of everything whether it is uh, the workflow or whether it is na10 whether it is uh, qdrant whether it is postgresql so everything will be removed and stopped and now i will be updating it again i will do sudo docker compose space up dash q it is now pulling the latest images again and then you can see n 10 is being downloaded now because the new version is being updated. All right, so you can see here that now it has updated and everything is ready right now. Uh, and I will simply go back again to n 10 Here is n 10simplexcom And here you go. And now if I go to help, if I go to about n 10 you can see here 1.8.4. The latest version is available. And if I go to now credentials, for example, and if I and or if i go to workflow for example i will click this customer support agent and if i click this now you will see here that based on environment variable now the webhook url is also changed so this is how you will be able to change the environment variables now your complete stack is available here in proxmox of course i'm using proxmox of course there are a variety of options i have covered only few environment variables so let us continue to the next video now we'll look at other aspects of any time.